This is a Bring Me Your Torch. Exclusive. Welcome to another episode of Bring Me Your Torch. I'm Jesse. And I'm Elaine. And we have an exclusive podcast to bring you. We talked a little earlier today about Muhammad and some shadiness that was going on and how ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, may be going after him. But our anonymous 90 Day Fiance insider has brought us a little more information. Are you excited to talk about this? I am so excited, and uh, we are the first ones breaking this to you. As far as we know. (laughs) Allegedly, not only is ICE going after Muhammad, but I've heard that the FBI has been allegedly called on him as well. And I don't know what he's done for the FBI to be called on him, but that doesn't sound good. But he also worked in Qatar um, before he came over to the U.S. So he has a past of kind of traveling around. Maybe he's doing something, some illegal things. I don't know. This is all alleged. By the way, there's, we're not saying that there's anything horrible about Qatar, as far as we know, except for they have the uh, World Cup there in four years, and apparently it's going to be 126 degrees every day when they play, <laughs> play soccer. So that's a little shady right there, maybe. Yeah, but right. my whole thing is, is if he is actually just, you know, scamming her for the green card, like you said, why would the Federal Bureau of Investigation have to get involved? Well, if they are, in fact, being involved, we don't know that. It's legit that they're involved. Someone could have called it on them just because they were mad at him. I mean, people don't seem very happy who watch the show with Mohammed the way he was acting. No. So, so you know, I don't innocent until proven guilty. That's what's great about America. But I Muhammad, think he's also but, incriminating himself when he gallivants around the U.S. taking photos of himself with random strangers. It's very, very shady. And on top of all this, we have heard alleged reports that Danielle's son, who seems to be the only one who is just thinking clearly into what Muhammad was doing this entire time, has been arrested for assaulting Muhammad. Ouch. Ouch. Now, if that is in fact true, I feel bad for this kid, but I do not blame him because this guy is scamming his mom, as far as we can tell. I'm just worried that you're going to scam my mom. What are you you doing? (laughs) What do you think the guy's kid sounds like? Kind of. I don't know. So, you know, we're digging deep to try to get a little more information, see if we can confirm this, corroborate this. But if someone else confirms it, just know that you heard it here first. Oh, yes. At Bring Me Your Torch. <laughs> oh, yes. So we'll, ha- we'll bring more to you in the, in the coming days so that we can stay up to date on where Muhammad is. I mean, cause is he in, like, witness protection now? Does he think Danielle's son's going to, like, come after him? Yeah, he's probably hanging around Times Square with a naked cowboy or something. <laughs> have his wedding ring on. He has nothing else going on. Oh, so there you go. Uh, remember to check us out on our website, www.bringmeyourtorch. And you can find us on Twitter and Facebook. What are those addresses? Facebook.com slash bringmeyourtorch or twitter.com slash bringmeyourtorch without the, without the age. No H. No H. Find us, find us on iTunes, on Stitcher and all that stuff. And it's late over here, so it's time to go to bed. But just remember, you may have come here as a stranger, but you're leaving as a friend. We'll see you next time on Bring Me Your Torch. Bye.